look at that oh my god this thing is here the cyber truck is here look at this let's go inside and check it out i can't believe it's here <laughs> There's people checking this one wheel out. Hi, sir. Hi. Can uh, I? <laughs> do you have an appointment today? No, I don't. Do I need uh, one? I could just check you in real quick. Can I, get Can I leave this uh, somewhere on the side? Uh, somewhere safe. Like I'll put it there, yeah. yeah. V-I-T-A-L-I-E Do you guys have information? Uh, the latest information no, on the truck? they haven't given us any, any information Nothing? No But next week is going to be the unveil, right? Uh, uh, the... Tomorrow Oh, tomorrow? Yeah Oh, uh, shoot Can I get a phone number? You're all good to go Alright So nobody knows anything about the cyber truck? Not the latest information? No. Nothing? No Alright, I'll just go and check it out Yeah Alright guys, so No info, but from what I read It's going to be 125 kilowatt battery pack and I've been here I believe two years ago and uh, they had the initial prototype which was much wider much longer much taller and bigger so this is I think close to production line they have this uh, separation here if you do the close-ups if you look at the edges it's almost perfect look at the size let's go in the back and look in the back and the sides So, yeah, look at the gaps, the door, it's perfectly done. <laughs> we'll go over it. <laughs> yeah, it looks uh, slightly lower, I think, and uh, it is uh, smaller from what I remember. Look at the gaps everywhere. The door, it's almost perfect. This thing looks super cool. You guys have to see it in person. I think I mentioned this in the videos and pictures online. This truck does not look how you can see it in reality. And maybe I can uh, insert here clips from the last year's video. If you look, the cameras in the back, it's slightly different. You can see here the lights. It's so much better. I wish they kept it. Uh, and the original bigger size like monster size but look even we have the mirrors now we have the front uh, wiper this thing is insane holy look at that <laughs> that window wiper it's insane and it's only one this is crazy have you seen the last two year one have you seen it no. no two years ago it was bigger it was wider, I think taller and longer, but didn't have all these uh, details and mm. had cracks and like had like, you know, like oh, imperfections. So is... But this thing looks insane, right? It's pretty insane. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't and wait. I'm surprised nobody, no, nobody can give us information because this thing is just so rad. It's like... Yeah. Well, tomorrow he's having that. Uh, he's doing this uh, presentation on this, so maybe the price will go. But not here, right? No, no, he's gonna, gonna be, be in, in Texas. In Texas, yeah, in Texas. He's doing it online so you can see it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be live, yeah. yeah. I'm not missing that. I thought it's gonna be next week, but it's, I'm glad that I stopped by because yeah. tomorrow is the day. <laughs> yeah. And they even have, look, the camera on the bottom. They have the hooks in the front. He said this is the lowest suspension. The low suspension? He said this is the lowest it goes. It goes up. Yeah, it has the, yeah. Yeah, the, the lift off, yeah. But look, the, the lights, they're on the side. Look at those wheels. <laughs> this is crazy. And the flares and the fenders, wider body camera right there on the side. There's so much details on this thing. That windshield is just like freaking crazy. And there's a company that makes the camper in the back. Oh, really? I don't know if you saw it. That's going to be super cool. And I think the interior is almost done. You can see the seats right there. This thing is insane. So you have this uh, fence here, so I cannot pass this. But I'll try to get close up so you guys can see all details. And this is a full version. It was driven here 
by the manager of this facility, of this uh, showroom. And uh, it is lower down, it has uh, air suspensions can go much higher. How many inches, uh, nobody tells me, and uh, we cannot show that, but look at the gaps. Everywhere I'll try to do a close up so you guys can see. There's no imperfections. This is as close as possibly can get to production version. And uh, tomorrow it's going to be a live stream, so we'll get more information. Here's a charging port. And I'm not sure why the turning signals is only on from the side. It can go all around. We have the rear lights, I believe, there. Yeah, this thing is super cool. You have to see it in person. Look on the profile. The wheels stick out a little bit and has this massive look. And now when it's lowered, if you look here, this massive wheels make it look so much better. It's like a, almost like a racing truck. It's so low to the ground, but then you can lift and uh, have it go over, over pretty much, you know, challenging terrain and stuff, right? So I like this uh, fender here transition. And look at the gaps. Perfect. Here we have some uh, specs. Eleven thousand pounds of twin power. I think on the website I saw fourteen or thirteen point five thousand. So maybe that's adjusted. We'll get more information tomorrow from the live stream from Tesla from Texas. But uh, yeah, this thing it's not. Here's the front look of the bumper. And this is a look at the camera here on the bottom, and I believe that's going to be the plate uh, position somewhere here. It looks even better than last year. Not sure what else to show you guys. I'll try to get close-ups here so you guys can see the front bumper and the lights under. And let's see if we can get the interior somehow. I'll try to zoom in here. These are those kind of bucket seats. You can see in the back, but you can see in the front here. And they have the upgraded yoke on the Model S, in the black version, I believe, or Model S long range. So I'll try to get it for you guys in a second. But this is how it looks, and this is how much I can reach, so you can see inside. Let's see, front of you. Yeah, I'm not sure I can see anything because of the glare and the lights, but uh, this is the best and the closest I can get. If I zoom in more, you're not going to see much. But uh, this uh, triangle of mirrors looks super sick. And here's the side panels. Look at this thing. Gorgeous. And uh, here's the, the robot that soon we'll see in action too. Man, this is the best showroom <laughs> in Manhattan for any car. Let's go and see the updated yoke wheel for the Model S. Here's the plat drive unit. Heat pump. And I believe this is uh, the updated ones. Much more compact, better efficiency. This looks really cool. There's some information here. If you guys want to pause and read. Let's see the full server driving. Full Tesla self driving chip here, main board, the camera panels. It is impressive what Tesla achieved in such a short period of time. You know, a lot of people don't like it, but guys, this is the future and it's gonna get only better. I'm not sure if you guys know that uh, Nvidia built the first supercomputer that was delivered person to Elon Musk, which he's using right now, and uh, he paid $250,000 for it. And I think it was in 2015, 2014 when he got it. So a lot of that was used to design this stuff right here. So this is the Model S, the updated version. So we're gonna check the, the yoke inside. What is different from the previous uh, version? Well, obviously with this, you have the yoke. 
and then you also have the the steering here so obviously if you notice we don't have the stocks mm -hmm. the stocks are not here everything is going to be controlled if you want to step in i'll show i'll show you from the other one of the biggest things too on on this bigger model is that we're going to have the the swipe up to swipe down. If you notice on your Model 3, obviously you have the stocks, Yeah, we right? have the stocks here, yeah, so, there's no more, so, yeah. So this is obviously gonna be a much more clean approach. Now we have the yoke, which gives it more of that like racy feel. And it's also it. clean, you know, have yeah, this covered. Yeah, yeah. So then um, on top of that, if you wanna look back here, we also have the touchscreen display back here. I have to go in the back, can't reach yet. <laughs> I'm, gonna, no. I'm gonna go in a second and take a look, yeah. Yeah, yeah, feel free. But um, so yeah, so this is one of the biggest things, right? So, oh, and then we also have the, uh, if you got out, once you get out, I'll show mm -hmm. you. You see the little red lines here? That's for obviously heating the, the front side. Um, super cool, obviously. This display will be able to be adjusted on displays too. Um, now, it's really cool too, to obviously, all the, do you wanna, so like. Oh, oh I see, I see. So oh, this, this is nice, 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 nice. Yeah, yeah, so this is one of the cool. And then obviously, if you want it more driver side focused, that's perfect! Wow. You can have it there, and then obviously back to. Is center. this kind of standard? Do you have to pay extra for? No, this is standard. Standard. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. The only problem that I have, which I don't like, and I've been asking Tesla, and I don't see improvements, the GPS man. It's the GPS you, tracking. It's, it's like yeah. it, it's still not as good as Google. Like it, yeah. it, it gives you like take left and or says right, and you have to take left, and it's a little messed up. I don't know, yeah. is any updates on that that coming or? So that, to that, I know that we obviously do tons of updates pretty uh, often, but I don't know per se the actual um, idea of when that would come out, but yeah. So here is the front that we talked about, right there, the heating and the camera. And let's see in the back, the display. And here's the play, display the touch screen. So you have all the stuff here all your console, music, sound. It's perfect. Look at that. The sound is amazing and this feature, this is really cool. It, Tesla has 140,000 employees. Okay, of, of the half of them are in the United States. Tesla has created more manufacturing jobs than everyone else combined. Guys, this thing is insane. Let's go back to the cyber truck. So hopefully I get the chance to, I just signed up for the event tomorrow. Hopefully I get uh, approved, accepted, and I can, you know, be part of it. You're headed back to Texas uh, after this <laughs> Freedom, uh, to launch uh, the cyber truck. Yeah. It's gonna be a big launch. But I wanted to ask you right now, uh, more broadly just about the, the car business and what you see actually happening, um, and specifically, the government put in place lots of policies, as you know, to try to encourage uh, more EVs. And one of the things that's happened uniquely is you have now a lot of car companies saying, actually, this is too ambitious for us. These plans are too ambitious. 4,000 dealers, I don't know if you saw just yesterday, sent a letter to the White House saying, this has gone too far. You're going too far. You had this- Anti-EV? It was, an, it, it was a, this is going too fast, too far, and that there's not enough demand. If you make a compelling electric car, people will buy it, no question about it. Um, I mean, electric car sales in China are gigantic. Um, that's by far the biggest category. Right. Um, and I think that would be the case, you know. Um, I mean, it's worth noting, okay, so, so the, probably the best refutation of that is that the Tesla Model Y will be the best-selling car of any kind on Earth this year. Of any kind, gasoline or otherwise. But this is a truck, and these are the updates. I think what Tesla does, it's insanely impressive, and uh, I'm glad they do it, so hopefully more companies follow and do the same. Driving this car, it's so comfortable, it's so easy. Innovation, design, functions, is just, if I drive a regular car, I get tired of four or five hours. If I drive, you know, Model 3, I can drive for all day, and I don't get sleepy, I don't get tired, so so much easier, so much more fun so much more easier so much more fun this is insanely cool so guys updates coming soon let me know in the comments below what do you think thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time